and short of it is, is one of the perceived leaders of the online harassment group Comicsgate, uh, and you know these guys say they're not bullies, they're not angry or whatever, but they don't, you don't go around calling people cucks yeah. and you know SJWs and and NPCs and you know soy boys. Mm -hmm. Hello and welcome to Sweetcast. I'm Clint, and if you've been following any of this Mark Wade nonsense. My name is Mark Zayam. You'll notice that he's been acting really strange on Twitter. I don't know how he gets paid this much money to just f pick fights with strangers on Twitter. I already did the video about his uh, shenanigans with me, but now comic skaters are starting to get wise to his tactics, and I'm beginning to think that he's trying to become the victim. Exhibit A. This is just one uh, interaction I had with some random anti-comic skater on Twitter. And he says, LOL, you're delusional. I have no problem with politics and comics. I do have a problem with hypocrites, uh, which is, and he's talking about uh, Ethan Van Skyver. And uh, all I did was, just to show you, I didn't call him any names. I'm actually asking him to join Comicsgate. I just thought, you know, what better, better way to, uh, to bring more people into the fold than just hand out red pills. So, um... And then I told him, the problem is that you are fighting a straw man. Comicsgate never was about having no personal political opinion. It's about having good comics. Creators can vote however they want. Just don't force feed us garbage ideologies. Join us. Together we can make comics fun again. I'm, I'm again, reaching out the olive branch here. Uh, he returns back with, that's not a straw man. Plenty of Comicsgate dudes complain about writers slash artists forcing their opinions on their fans. Not just in comics, but through social media. Uh, Ethan is doing just that. Plus, y'all, comics don't interest me. Others like them, so it's all good. So I want to come back to that straw man statement, that little d disagreement that we had. But first, I finished it off by saying, I'll agree to disagree. Much love. Comic Skate will be ready for you when you decide to jump on board. And I think that's how comic skaters, honestly, the vast, vast majority of people that are pro comics gate they're they're kind they are inclusive in the real sense of the word that's that's the language of a bully <laughs> and uh yeah we want to we want to repair the industry we want to move it forward into the future uh so the straw man there is absolutely a straw man being formed and i'm gonna prove it next tweet so we have mark zade my name is Mark Zay. I'm an attorney here in Washington, D.C. Uh, today, um, Ethan Van Skyver actually blocked Mark Zaid on Twitter, which is uh, actually turned out to be kind of a beautiful thing because Mark Zaid was doing a good job of getting Ethan upset at him, and Ethan was just letting him have it. I don't have any sympathy for Zaid because he likes to pick fights. He, he did it to me already, and I didn't. I didn't say anything nasty to him. That's, that's the language of a bully. <laughs> Sweetcast said, uh, Zade harassed me on Twitter today. I just made a video about it. Check it out on my channel and subscribe. Yes, I saw you post that, Sweetcast. Uh, everybody, you know, when you get a few minutes, go check out Sweetcast's channel. Uh, check out that video he posted today. Zade was, was on a rant, and we're going to get into that. Um, but he announces the live stream here. He says, my client... Uh, Mark Mark Wade's recent interview about comics at the Nerdist uh, notice all the scared hatred from Comicsgate supporters. Apparently, Mark has hit a raw nerve. I encourage those who despise bigotry and intolerance to post favorable comments. The racist, sexist, homophobic, xenophobic, Islamophobic. Okay, if you were watching that live stream, a lot of people are very upset about Mark Wade. Mark Wade has done some awful things. It, I mean, it's been, ha it's been hashed and it's been gone over and rehashed several, so many times in different videos. Um, he's being sued for breaking the law for tortious interference. And in fact, he did brag on Twitter on several occasions about uh, participating in such a thing. That's, that's the language of a bully. <laughs> but Zaid is very convinced that he's the victim and he's trying to stoke up a hate mob. And I kind of wonder, is it possible that 
this uh, Nerdist uh, live stream, is it possible that that was set up to try and trigger a reaction from comic skaters? I know chat was going crazy. Um, Of course, you're always going to get some people that are just going to say whatever nonsensical troll stuff. But most people on there, on that chat, were saying reasonable things. They're asking about the lawsuit. And by using the word lawsuit, you were getting banned. By using the the phrase tortious interference, you were being banned. Um, yeah, you would get timed out for anything. So I, I kind of wonder if this is part of the strategy. They're really trying to appear to be the victim. And I don't think it's working. <clears throat> you know, the, the concept that there is this toxic level of fandom out there, and that's not news to anybody, nope. unfortunately. I mean, and Gamergate was the big thing, and now it sort of transformed in comics into Comicsgate. Yeah. Next up, so I mentioned Ethan Van Skyver uh, blocked Mark Zaid. He actually tweeted, I don't have the tweet here, but he did tweet something before that to let Mark Zaid know that he was going to be blocked. And so Mark Zaid, he wants to pick a fight so desperately and now because Ethan has opted not to participate, Mark Zaid is going to say, shame on that comic skate leader, Ethan Van Skyver, is so scared of interacting, especially when he instigates the contact, that they block me. This is textbook reaction from bullies who are stood up to directly. That's, that's the language of a bully. <laughs> Get used to it. Okay. You know, or it's a, it's a reaction to somebody... It's a reaction to a bully. Um, I mean, you've been you've been picking fights all over Twitter, even a nobody like me. I realize that I'm, you know, I'm uh, I've got what forty three subscribers now, so he's getting a little he's getting afraid of Sweetcast. But uh, I digress. This is creating a straw man. He's trying to make himself the hero or the victim. And he's really just trying to make Mark Wade happy because this is exactly how Mark Wade wants it to be. He wants to be the victim, but he's paid a pencil necked attack dog to do it for him. I'm sorry, I didn't I did call him a pencil neck. That wasn't very nice. That's that's the language of a bully. <laughs> um no apologies. Okay, next up. I know this is old, but uh yeah, let's just say bullies are not just bullies to other people. They can also bully inanimate, in, inanimate objects. After his exit from Twitter, see, he, this was before when he left Twitter and now he's back. Uh, after his exit from Twitter, it was assumed that Mark Wade would be more relaxed. And while he may have been, his relaxation was unfortunately cut short when a stop in his local Starbucks led to a shouting match with a newspaper stand. According to sources, the event occurred when the Marvel writer inspected the day edition of the New York Times, which featured a story on Marvel's slumping sales. Oh, man. I'm not going to read this whole thing. But he can't handle the truth. That's really, I think, what this is about. He can't handle... I mean, that live stream happened, and you saw at the very end of that live stream... He, he gives that look and he lifts his hands up. He's, he's looking for something, searching for something. And the truth is that the fans have turned against him. This isn't just comic gators. Uh, this is everyone. The fans have turned against him. And the numbers, sales have turned against him. Something he has to reckon with. Here's another example I just looked up the hashtag comicsgate uh when you see the severe vitriol from comicsgate it's not hard to understand why good people and hashtag i stand with mark wade against sexism racism homophobia and transphobia the racist sexist homophobic xenophobic okay yeah what does it have to do with that really i again comicsgate does not have a leadership. Comicsgate is not an organization. We're not a company. It's it's just a bunch of people that are in a movement that agree on at least just one thing, and that is 
that mainstream comic book publishers are destroying comics. And so we want to fix it. All this other stuff, they're just uh, they're just name calling. And while we're drawing uh, stretches here, um, Mark Zay, don't forget this. He's posting a, his- a historical original comic book art up for sale of the Holocaust. Look, there's Nazis there. Nazis. And he's selling it. Master Race. I Mark said, you should be ashamed. This this I cannot stand for. You should be ashamed. And last but not least, Mark Wade keeps trying to direct people to a place where he can control things. And that is his website. You'll notice on the live stream, he didn't talk about the GoFundMe directly. He kept saying, I mean, he, he did, but he um, joked about Twitter and he really said, you can see him at markwade.com. And that's because there's no comment section. He's controlling things here. It does make me wonder if he is getting more money than we're seeing. If people are donating directly to him. I don't know. It really seems like he just ran out of steam. At least as far as the public is concerned. Nobody's donating anymore. He's about capped off. But again, here, he's making a straw man argument. And of course he's got a tweets from your boy Zach. Now I'm not going to, I don't know about the specifics of what Zach was doing. Um, I, I'm not Zach. Uh, You're not Zach, unless you're listening. Your boy Zach, that would be awesome. Give me a comment if you are. I know that they're worried about representation in comics and that's exactly why you're going to see more diverse writers. But if you're hiring people just for the sake of what they look like for their immutable characteristics, then you're, I mean, what good does that do? This is literally a picture of the end of Marvel, a spineless leader who would rather tweet about food than take charge, than take charge. A woman with no comic book experience hired for her plumbing, a minstrel show diva and two men who have talent, but not, politics over entertainment okay so this is where mark wade's getting that minstrel show thing diva though i again i don't have any context for this i'm not sure what's going on they hired a race hustler because they're white guilt um did you though did marvel did you hire a race hustler are you trying to race hustle so if there's any wonder what wade and zade are up to They're most certainly trying to become the victim. They're trying to make us angry and to use that as evidence. So what I suggest, I'm going to keep doing this. Uh, I'm going to disagree with people and tell them that they're wrong, but I'm going to reinforce it with much love or I'll agree to disagree and invite them to join. Uh, You're welcome to do whatever you want. I don't care, honestly, but it is kind of fun how it really diffuses the situation where it's almost like we're love trolling. Let's love troll together. Anyway, I want to say welcome to all my new subscribers. It was really awesome to have Nick Ricada, uh give me a shout out and also the umbrella guy uh, give me a shout out. That was re- really, really cool. We don't have a lot of subscribers yet, but we are building a momentum, which is awesome. So if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe, comment down below. Let me know what you think of this whole mess and what is a good strategy for us going forward. And I promise I'm going to return to doing some writing tutorials. I did a little poll and it seems like you want comic writing tutorials. So we're going to do some of that and I'm going to try and make it as fun as possible. So I will see you next time. (laughs) There's just no way around it. Like I was talking about sweet cast and again, Check out, I'm going to show you where they, they were gone at in just a second. But I want to encourage you also to check out their channel. They have a channel that's smaller. They could use the subs there.